200 millimeter and width would be equal to uh, 200 and 100 100 millimeter or it as it's a reduced scale so it would be 50 millimeter and after that name the end points draw the circle or the axis having diameter 80 millimeter divide the circle into equal number of parts say a days b days and so on eight parts then transfer all these eight parts to its front view by transferring the points from respective points transfer these all points to meter line from meter line to its top view like this and draw its top view from top view where these points with these meter lines cuts the circle from those points draw straight vertical line and find out the points of intersection so these are the points of intersection for both the cases name the respective points and now join these points with the smooth curve like this as it's a cylinder so smooth curve would be there and this is insert the dimension diameter 80 height 140 width 200 and diameter 100 name the views front view it's a top view and this is the side view of the problem if you draw all these parameters uh, you do not you should not forget to represent the lines say th this center line this is the center line dotted line name of the respective points name of views and insert the dimensions as and when required so which would be useful to redraw this figure so that is problem number one now we discuss the second problem the data is given like this a square prism 50 mm sides and axis 80 mm is resting on its square base with an edge of the base inclined at 30 degree to vertical plane it is completely penetrated by a horizontal cylinder diameter 45 millimeter and length 80 millimeter the axis of both the solids are parallel to vertical plane and bisect each other draw projections showing curves of intersection here a square prism is given and it is cut by a horizontal cylinder so it's a case of prism and cylinder so let me draw the solution of this problem so for that first we have to draw the cylinder as well as after that we have to draw a square prism and it is given that this is square prism makes an angle of 30 degree with xy line so we have to draw first xy line and below this xy line draw a square prism such that its sides makes an angle of 30 degree with xy line like this as represented by this green colored square This is the top view of given square prism such that its faces are inclined at 30 degree to horizontal plane. Now here meter line would be there at an angle of 45 degree to xy line to the right side of its front view. Now from this top view transfer the points from this end to the meter line one would be here second would be from this end to this end third would be from this corner to this xy line this meter line and last one would be from this corner to this end now from this point transfer all these points to its front view and we can draw the side view of this square prism and side view would be a rectangle as represented over here height is 80 millimeter and side length is 50 millimeter so this height should be 80 millimeter so this is the side view now you can see here if you look from this direction from here this corner would be visible you can see here. if you look from here this corner would be visible so that should be drawn with the full line like this so this would be the full line because it's a fully visible and this corner will not be visible if we look from here if you are looking from this direction then this corner will not be visible hence it is represented by dotted line like this 
and as it's a square hole uh, so here it would be cut here also this line will not come because it's a cut portion it should not be drawn now we draw the side view of a uh, front view of this square prism so this would be the front view like this from this end to this end like this and here this one and this is the base of this square prism now if you look from here from this bottom side this corner would be visible in front view so that is to be drawn by straight full line and this corner will not be visible hence that would be represented by the dotted line in front view like this so this is drawn now about this black colored cylinder let me draw side view of this cylinder so for that again we take projection from this front view and here this portion will not be visible because it is inside this square prism so represented by the dotted line here also up to this line it would be full line after that here a dotted line will be there because the cylinder is inside the square prism and this is the one face of the cylinder another face of cylinder similarly that face would appear alike in top view as well so in the top view this cylinder would, would appear like this from this end to this end and here again the cylinder is inside the prism so dotted line should be drawn to represent the hidden edge of this cylinder this would be the dotted line right so this is drawn now think about rest all points the points of intersection for this curve so here points of intersection would be there so again let we divide this circle into equal number of parts say into eight equal parts you can divide into more number of parts also if the size of the diagram or size of the solid is bigger here only eight equal divisions are prepared now name each points say so here this is point number one this is point number one so how to find out position of point number one so use the analogy which we employed earlier from this point draw straight vertical line that will cut meter line somewhere here from that draw straight horizontal line that will cut this square at two points one point is here another, another point is here so from this point draw a straight vertical line transfer this point to its front view so it will like this and from point number one draw a straight horizontal line so and both these line will cut at one point that is the point is somewhere here so that we denote by this blue colored point this is the point the point of intersection of point number one so this is point number p1 similarly point number two is here here this is point number two and find out position of point number two so for that from from two again take projection up to meter line draw horizontal line from that and it will cut this square at one point it is here another point at here so from this point draw straight vertical line so it would cut horizontal line from point two exactly over here and on this side also vertical line from here that would cut this prism exactly at this point so we have picked up two points now similarly point number three is here from three draw straight vertical line horizontal line vertical line from this cutting point this is here and horizontal line from point three both will cut at this point so here is point number three similarly point number four is here and here also one point would be there to locate the position of this point draw straight vertical line from here horizontal line from here vertical line from this corner horizontal line from this corner so somewhere here point would be there so now join all these points with a smooth curve so that would appear like this 
this would be the points of intersection for this side similarly on this side also we can we can picked up all the points and the curve of intersection would appear like this the same analogy we have to employ which we had employed in the left side drawing now about now what's about this back side point say point number 4 is here then point number 5 point number 6 7 and 8 find out position of all these points also by employing same analogy and it would appear like this a curvature shape which is behind this side so it would not be appear which could be represented by the dotted line as shown over here so this would be the curve of intersection for this case so this uh, this solution represents all the it fulfills all the requirements which is given in the data now we have to insert the dimensions here the diameter of this circle that is given as 45 mm so you can write here 5 45 and arrow should be drawn as shown over here height of this uh, square prism is 80 mm you write here 80 by aligned system of dimensioning and here this is the square of side length 50 mm so you can write here sq 50 like this so it's a square of 50 mm sides length is not given so we need not to insert the dimension in this diagram so this is the solution of the given problem i hope the solution is clear to you this one now next problem problem number 3 a vertical cylinder of 100 mm diameter and 160 mm height is penetrated by a horizontal square prism of 50 mm side and 140 mm length their axes are perpendicular and intersecting each other all faces of prism inclined are inclined equally to hp and vp draw the projections showing lines of intersection so here a cylinder is given it is cut it is penetrated by a square prism dimensions of both the solids are given to us so it's a case of penetration of cylinder and square prism so first we have to draw a given cylinder like this the diameter of cylinder is given 100 mm so draw top view of the cylinder and then take projections and draw its front view here also we draw a meter line which makes an angle of 45 degree with xy line and this is the xy line which represents intersection of both the planes hp and vp now this circle represents the front view of the cylinder and to draw the side view of the cylinder we take projection from this top view draw horizontal lines from here from this end from this end and from this end and as well like this and from here draw straight vertical line and we can draw this cylinder over here and height of this cylinder is given as 160 mm so accordingly 160 mm should be taken as the height of this rectangle and yes here the size is longer so we have reduced the scale so 160 mm is to be represented by 80 mm over here and 100 mm diameter is represented by this 50 mm diameter circle and by transferring the points from side view to this front view we can draw the front view of given cylinder like this so this is the front view of cylinder which is standing on its circular base and now we draw the square prism here it is given that the all faces of this square prism inclined at equal angle to both plane hp and vp so we have to draw a square in such a way that 
its all faces makes an angle of 45 degree with xy line like this and now from this side view we can draw its front view as well and here we know this is the hidden edge this edge is inside the cylinder so it will not appear hence represented by the dotted line from this end to this end and rest all outside line would be full line so this rectangle represents the front view of the cylinder and similarly we can transfer the lines from front view to top view by taking projections from front view as well as side view side view to meter line and transfer from meter line to this end so this is again the top view of this cylinder this one right so till now we have drawn first two lines of given problem now we need to find out the points of intersection so again we employ the same analogy which we used earlier pick up any one corner so here is the corner so this is the corner from this corner draw straight horizontal line up to here from here draw vertical line horizontal line where it cuts this circle curve from that mark a point and from that draw a straight vertical line so first point would be here now what's about second point so for that let me divide this is square into two equal parts like this to find out the intermediate points it's not compulsory to divide into equal parts but to find out the intermediate points it's needed so from this point so here is the point number 1 this is a point number 1 this is let me have uniformity this is point number 2 this is point number 3 point number 4 5 6 7 and 8 eight points are there now for point number 2 from this to draw straight horizontal line like this or projection line from point 2 now from point 2 draw straight vertical line that will also pass through point number 4 from that draw horizontal lines or projection line from meter line to the top view it will cut the circle at two points and from those two points draw straight vertical line one from here right and one from